Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's the author, Andrew Snorton, and you're joining me for The Fast 15. As we usually do on Wednesday afternoons, we take no more than 15 minutes to pause, check up, check in, enjoy an encouraging note from any of my books, audio books, and the first Wednesday of each month, a guest or fellow author, a few announcements, updates, and then closing out on a positive note. Uh, sometimes you can't wait till the end of the day or the beginning of the next day to kind of pause, reboot, reset. So I'm hoping this time to reset not only helps you, but it does help me to kind of, you know, just slow down the moving parts. So uh, in that spirit, and before we get into our talk, um, to stay connected with me, make sure to add me on Instagram at author a snorton. You may click on the link in the bio, which is for my link tree, but the actual um Thing for Linktree is L I N K T R dot E E backslash author a snorton. So when you click on the link in the bio for Instagram and and basically it takes you to my Linktree, you may check out the newsletter, which the last newsletter of 2023 came out today. So you can check that out. You can check out all my social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you can check out the archival editions of the Conversation Corner through the Status Network. You can get the information on the author, Andrew Snorton Blend Coffee in collaboration with Fonte's Coffee. And there's usually a few articles or two, and there's some more interviews that are forthcoming. So you can check that out, events, and more. So in that particular spirit, just a couple of quick things. We know if the holiday is going on, it can be a mixed bag for some people. Uh, there's people that I know who are going through some challenging times, uh, family members of theirs are transitioned. There might be other stressors that are all time high. So for anyone out there that is really not doing well, just wanna send you a word of encouragement um, and let you know that there are people who are thinking about you. There are people who care. Uh, and we wanna see you pull through it. And, and like anything, whether it's formal or informal, get the support that you need to help you get closer to where you're trying to go. You know, on the flip side, it's the holidays. A lot of things are going on. There's a lot of parties, social events, community service events. So shouts to the people doing community service and outreach. Um, there's a lot of pauses going on. You definitely wanna pause, pump your brakes, celebrate and breathe, but by the same token, just don't go overboard with it. So just, you know, just try to strike that balance as best as possible. You can push the envelope a little bit, a little bit, but don't go over the top. So in that spirit, we know what you put in your head shows up in different ways, shapes, and forms. So the book that we're going to pull from, Quotes and Notes, Something's on the Horizon. It's a collection of original quotes that I've come up with, with the exception of one that I borrowed from my grandmother. But in addition to the quote and the logic and rationale, there's a space for you to journal. So whether you agree, you would disagree, uh, you want to go in a deeper direction or you want to go in a totally different direction, it's up to you. But we know what you put in here is going to show up in some way, shape or form. So we want to, you know, make sure we're feeding our brain, mind, spirit and soul as properly as possible. So the quote I'm going to read from is a favorite quote from here, and it reads as follows. You can still do something with something. Again, you can still do something with something. And a lot of times, you know, there's times we think that we're not as sharp as we are or we're not as adequate as we need to be. We're not as well versed, all these types of things, or because we fell short that we didn't do the job. But I'm just here to remind you, remind myself that while you're here, you already have the capacity to do something. So like for today was the first day in like a month. I know it's terrible, a month that I've been out to the park and walked. And part of it was there are extra moving parts going on, um, you know, a little bit stressed and what have you. But you know what? When I walked today, I pretty much hit the same target that I typically do when I'm walking on a regular basis. So it lets me know, hey, if my mind is locked in, I can get back, you know, to the regularity that I'm used to and that'll show up, you know, if managing my stress, you know, making sure my mind is clear, physically that I'm in good shape, you know, gotta be in good shape with all this moving <laughs> and stuff. So uh, yeah, just don't 
think that because you're not doing things on this level that you can't get there. Sometimes doing things on this level is okay and then you can see the pathway a little bit clearer so you're that much more effective. So again, you can still do something with something no matter how big or small it is. You're able to figure out there's something that you can do and it might not always be to the scale that you want but at least it's a step in the right direction. So that's the message for today from Quotes and Notes. So a couple of quick announcements, um, really focusing on upcoming events. Let's see, this Saturday, December 16th from 9 to 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, join me as I'll be part of the um, Pen Posse Roundtable Series hosted by B Black uh, Writers Workspace. So shouts to uh, Ms. Jackson doing some amazing things there. I've been able to speak for them with them before, so excited for this Saturday's panel. You can check it out on my you know, social media platforms, and for those of you who subscribe to the newsletter, you can get it from there. Uh, December 20th from 2 to 6 p.m. at Legacy Cuts Barbershop in Snellville, Georgia. I'll be doing a pop-up book signing similar to what I did this summer. I know I'll definitely have you know ample coffee so we'll have all four of the coffee um, pieces under the author Andrew Snorton blend. Um, I did place an order for additional books, so we're going to see how that works out. But either way, I'm going to pop up um, on that day. And speaking of the coffee, we have officially decided due to popular demand, the original run date was going to end uh, December 26th for the bourbon infused. We're going to do the bourbon infused under the author Andrew Snorton blend until January 15th. So if you want to get one of these, yo, got to get one of these. This is real good. And I tell you what, I actually brewed some and did it left, you know, the leftover coffee. I was able to store it and do it as an iced coffee. So, uh, hey, shouts to the alma mater. Let me take a sip of the iced version of this bourbon infused. Mm-hmm. Whether hot or you know how you brew it and then you put it, you know, in a different type of container or whatever, let it sit for a day or two as a, as an ice version is good. So the easiest way to get your bag of really good coffee is going to be to go uh, to fontescoffee.com, click on the menu for special collections. Mine is the first one that comes up. Go ahead and order from there. Remember when you order 60 or more. So usually I tell people get two bags and a book because they're also a book reseller. It's free shipping. So the bourbon infused will be available through January 15th. All the other brands, the decaf, the light, and the medium, those are pretty much always going to be there. Uh, let's see other announcements. So again, the 16th with um, Black Riders Workspace. Um, the 20th of December, the pop-up with um, at Legacy Cuts in Snellville. Already getting bookings for January. So starting uh, January 27th, the last Saturday of January in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, I'll be at the book house, Winston-Salem, which is in Rinalda Village. I tell you, it's a great intimate space. And guess what? For the 21 and older, they serve wine. So we're going to have wine and conversation there at the Book House Winston-Salem. So check the social media and related updates for details. The first weekend of February, I'll be back in Illinois. Uh, that first Saturday of February should be February 3rd. Uh, I'll be in Lincoln, Illinois at the Public Library doing an author's talk to kick off Black History Month. And then the very next day, I'll be up in Chicago. So shouts to Devo Entertainment. I'll be in the Shy the first Saturday. I mean, excuse me, first Sunday of February pop up at one of my favorite go-to spots, a family den. So you'll see information popping up on that. If you subscribe to the newsletter, you'll get it. Speaking of the newsletter, we're doing a very simple Happy New Year uh, giveaway. So the way it works is that you need to email me at authorasnorton at gmail.com by December 30th. If you subscribe to the newsletter, it spells out all the info, but the short and sweet, I'll look at the entries that I've received on December 30th. And then when I do the Fast 15 talk that first Wednesday of January, which should be January the 3rd, then I'll go ahead and make the announcement, but I'll have a couple of giveaways for you. I'll just leave it there so you might wanna 
if you don't subscribe, you need to subscribe because some, even though there's the social media is pretty active, if you're on that newsletter, you get the stuff first before I post it. So you make sure you want to check it out. Try to see if there's anything else that's really happening. Oh, shouts to my grad chapter. Sigma Eta Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated located in Loganville, Conyers, Georgia. This Saturday is the Black Ice Affair from 3 to 7 p.m. Tickets are 25 per person, two for 40. Portion of the proceeds support the ABC2 project where the chapter makes visits to the area children's hospital. So I know December 15th, there's a visit at Snellville Pediatrics. And then December 22nd, it should be Hugh Spaulding Children's Hospital. Maybe they'll, they'll hopefully they'll be able to add one more. So make sure to check it out. And even if you can't come, just go ahead and get a ticket to lend support. So shouts to the chapter and the committee doing all that type of stuff. Trying to think if there's anything else on the horizon. Of course, there always is. Can't tell at all, but I'll tell enough. So having said all that, um, uh, obviously, of course, safe travels. Oh, oh, I forgot. Last thing. Shouts to where my mom used to teach, Asbury Park Middle School. And shouts to fellow um, Shore Conference, Jersey Shore, Asbury Park native, Jasir Taylor. Jasir is doing a toy drive in Asbury Park um, at Monroe Elementary. So I'll probably see if I can post the flyer on uh, my social media, but I caught it on his, just shared, doing amazing stuff in the NFL. But not only is he in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen, he has his degree, earned his degree from Wake Forest University, the alma mater, um, doing great things. You know, not only pursuing his dream as a professional football player, but just really staying, you know, still keeping 10 toes down in the community. So shout out to just here and everybody helping make that happen. I had to shout out the Jersey Shore. So uh, definitely had to, you know, shout them out. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If so, I'll post it at some point or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, liking, supporting, subscribing, all that, and then some. Um, appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing ride since doing my first book February of 2017 so dang next February is going to be seven years wow so four books five audio books some other work that's brewing no pun intended I know I said brewing and I'm talking about coffee but anyway I'm really thankful and grateful to each and every one of you so all of you have a good holiday season be safe today be encouraged and um whether small or big victory is a victory whether slow or swift movement is movement Keep it victorious, keep it moving, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Take care.